All right. Welcome in. We are recording. This is our sandbox review from January 11th. Liz, I will hand off to you. All right. Well, just before we started recording, we were talking about confidential containers and confidential computing because it seems like there's three applications related to confidential computing, interestingly, all simultaneous. Um, and we were saying that we don't know whether or not any of these projects have been um, suggested to the Confidential Computing Consortium or that's what it's called, isn't it? The, the other founder, is it? Correct. It is Confidential Computing Consortium. Yes. Yeah. Um, the ego and marble run seem to be attached to the hip uh, from some of the comments in there. The confidential containers one looks as though it's pretty um, related to Kata. And Kata, now remind me where Kata lives. In Stackland. I, yeah, open stack. Um, oh, yeah. Terrible, yeah. terrible idea of theirs. Yeah. Always was a mistake that they ended up there. But... So should we skip those three and yeah. just go to the second one, which is Cloud Rego? I think unless anyone has any particular reason to prioritize them, it would be worth finding out whether that's... Yeah. Because I guess it's it's another one of those areas where if we start opening up the doors to lots of com confidential computing... Did okay. we already do something there, Liz? Uh, in Clover, did we let yeah. them... Yeah. Yep. Mm. It came in last time around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how that can we explain how can, why there's so many new ones? How can projects update this information? Should they update it on the spreadsheet or? Yeah, they we'll, can come we'll back reach in out. Put in one, we'll reach out. Two, they can come back in and put comments on the spreadsheet. I think if I look at ego, it's an SDK, which is, you know, arguably this is more Go oriented than cloud native. So I think that would be another question mark in my mind um you know it's not something that people necessarily just run marble run does appear to be very kubernetes centric so yeah. the, the ego also says uh, talk something about a modified go compiler <laughs> that's scary to me mm. <laughs> Yeah, it's. I mean, you ha you kind of have to modify the runtime, which basically means modifying the compiler because right. mm -hmm. Go is not very friendly to adding platforms out of tree, mm -hmm. which has always been a little bit of a problem with doing the working with Go. Like there's other. That is definitely giving me cause for concern about whether Ego really fits. It's also MPL too. So they have a small licensing change to do. Well, they won't be able to relicense Go. So yeah, that would be a problem. <laughs> okay, that sounds pretty, pretty um, conclusively like Ego should probably try to find a different home. Yep, confidential Maybe computing foundation. Yeah. Um, I'll reword that nicely, but those three like. We'll, we'll reach out and see if this is really the right home for them. Well, yeah, I, I, I feel like ego, it, it isn't a case of them saying, oh no, we actually like CNCF better. Cause I think even then for ego specifically, they've got a licensing issue. Changing the go runtime sounds quite. So this is interesting that they both come from edgeless sys. Hmm. 
So does Marble Run depend on ego or is it? Not sure. So that would be another question to ask them. It does. I just looked at their Go mod really quick. So yeah. Uh, and they also have mentioned it in the, why do you want to contribute to the CNCF? Ego sister project Marble Run complements the strategy yeah. because Marble Run is uh, the control plane for confidential workloads kind of thing. So it could be that the ego might go to confidential computing and then Marble Run might end up with us. Maybe, yeah. Love, love the branding for Marble Run here, the service mesh for con confidential computing. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, should we move on to cloud we go? Is this going to be a little bit like um, micro? Yeah. Or um, um, I think so. Yeah. We had that SDK or something that was bringing uh, .NET stuff. It sounds similar to that, yeah. but Golang. Did we accept it? I think I might have been the person who voted against it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we didn't. Uh... Oh, it's from Byte Dance. Yeah, so it probably runs at decent scale. But is middleware? Composing <sighs> RPC framework. I mean, do you consider gRPC middleware? <laughs> No, I consider gRPC a networking protocol. This feels very opinionated. This feels like the kind of thing that, you know, once you decide you're going in a particular direction, you can't really. You know, is Kitex a competitor to gRPC? Is that's what I was just going to ask? Netpol like, a competitor to? Well, I don't know what. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, are they are they Go libraries? Again, I, I'm not. Some of them are. Yeah. Yeah, but it, this feels like programming SDKs rather than cloud native projects to me. And I think there's a whole question of, you know, Go libraries that are mm -hmm. higher performance or, or more specialized than the Go standard libraries, but I'm not sure that CNCF is necessarily the right home for them. Um, so does anybody want to vote for Cloud we go. I'm inclined to vote and say no. That would be my vote as well. No, and we'd like to better understand it or just no altogether. It's the... Yeah, for me it's a no. It's... Yeah. But... We, we, a long time ago, we voted no or didn't vote in the end, I think, on it was many years ago on our socket. 
um, which was a, in a way a kind of similar kind of middleware thing, though arguably yeah. perhaps even more cloud -like. And I think we, we've we've basically not, we, I mean, we never accepted a project like that so far. And I think we have not accepted some in the past. Mm. Um, well, maybe for the clarity of giving them an answer, we should do a vote. Um, so I shall put, apparently no votes. That's uh, fairly conclusive. Okay. Open policy registry. Wonder what the C stands for. <laughs> is there any reason why this is different from like? Why you'd have a policy registry rather than a general? I thought OCI registries were intending to be kind of general purpose, not just for container images. I think they have some tools to build uh, yeah. OCI artifacts with the policies inside, like client side tools. Yeah. So, some backstory here. Um, this is from a company called Asserto. Uh, they want to do cloud native authorization as a service. So they're building a framework UI and those kinds of things for doing that. One of the components is this registry where they want to repurpose any um, harbor or whatever registries at, as the place where you would store policies um, so that then they can uh, do Docker pull push kind of things for pulling the policy and then executing it. Um, Which I, th I thought you already could with, with OCI registries. I mean. Yeah, maybe. you can. I mean, that's, is it, I mean, I'm trying to try and work out if it's a, I, I think that, I think it's, I think it is using a normal registry, but it's running a command line that's specialized for pulling and pushing policies, I think. Yeah, that's, right. yep, that's what it looks like it's doing. If you look at that um, P, uh, column P tells you how it's, they're saying that this is a meta project that brings together three CNCF technologies, OPA, Cosine, OCI. And for each of them, they've given like how they are doing it or what they are doing there. So they are just trying to formalize things, um, both the code as well as they might be doing some specifications, I guess. The other thing I'm gonna say is that the, looking at the, the repos, I mean, policy has 19 stars. And that appears to be the most popular. Um, I mean, one question for me would be OPA has accepted sub projects in the past, right? There's Gatekeeper, I think that yeah. came from Microsoft. Um, you know, is there a reason they're not trying to go that route? Or um, potentially ORAS, which is registry of storage, yep. potentially could take sub projects that are specific registry of storage as well. I mean, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yes, I think that makes more. Yeah, we yeah. should ask them to explore those two options. Yeah. Cool. ML aid. It's like lemonade for yeah, all the letters jumbled up. Not very clear how it is cloud native. The application doesn't mention it. Mm. The why do you want to contribute is a bit 
fluffy. We'd love to share our vision with others and meet contributors who are crazy enough to think that good ideas need to be shared with the world. I mean, that just sounds like, yeah, we've, we've decided open source is a good idea. <laughs> That's not very CNCF specific. No, and it's also just easy integration into enterprise software. So it's a little weird from column J to. And it's two, it's two people. Right. And six stars. And <laughs> one fork and okay. two watches. So do we want to vote on it as cloud native or should we go say go away, explain why you're cloud native, build up a community, come back if you still want to join? Yeah, you could recommend LFAI too as an alternative organization. Mm -hmm. You got that, Amy? I sure did. Carry on. Cool. RK Boot. Uh, this sort of sets up my um, sets off my um, opinionated kind of pulling building blocks together alarm bells. Also not clear whether it's from an individual or an organization. Uh, it appears to be for booting VMs running microservices, which is, to be honest, quite strange. <laughs> A I mean, couple of clicks brought me to pointgold.io, and that's two people. Sorry. I, uh, yeah, two contributors plus possible. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe oh, it's. Yeah, one contributor, really. One of them's only got two commits. Huh. Yeah, maybe it's unclear how it's really cloud native and needs more community. I'm happy with that. Should we move on to dev file? This is a Red Hat one, right, Evan? Is this an alternative to GitHub's proprietary, what's it called, um, code spaces thing? Oh, is it? Ah. Yeah, I think, I think that's, I think that's, that was the intention, but I'm, I'm catching up on my notes. <laughs> Now that makes it quite interesting. Uh, uh, hmm. I'm not sure this is, I mean, the, the, the code space one is not very proprietary. It's just not very good. <laughs> 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 I mean, uh, it's just a, something yeah. someone hacked together in an afternoon that anyway, like, yeah. but, but that, it's more, I mean, it's just, it wasn't really designed to be a, a standard. It was just something that was a convenient mm -hmm. to, to, for someone to hack together in an afternoon, I think, by judging from it. <laughs> but it's being used. <laughs> so, sadly. It has got, apparently, support from Red Hat and AWS and IBM and somebody else who I've already yeah. got. JetBrains, yeah.
I like the idea. So I like the idea. Do we have other things that we consider like developer optimization tooling that falls under the same thing or? Well, there was that um, VS Code yep. extensions. Yeah, yep. that we talked about last time. Like. We worked yep. where that fit. So it feels somewhat similar. Yeah, and we do have specs. So it's not like specs are not a new thing for CNCF. Should we do votes for this? Anyone got any other comments or? We've got three more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just deal with a marble run um, instead of picking another one? Okay. What did you want to say about Marble Run? Uh, like if this, if we have to go back to the edgeless sys folks, we gave them some feedback about ego. Um, do we want to give feedback about the Marble Run? So it's it's a pair. Ego is a dependency of it. So, Correct. Oh uh, well. Although that has some other runtime supported. You just say another runtime. I'm not familiar with any of those other runtimes either. So, well, I'm not sure how much another one of them comes from the same people. Edgeless RT is, which is built on top of Open Enclave, but from Edgeless systems. So, an Open Enclave is Computational Computing Foundation project, but so it's another runtime that they build. So, the question um, of whether or not they've spoken to Confidential Computing Consortium. They're a member. They're a member of it. So, I guess they have. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah. I, I can see the, you know, uh, there's a more direct line between this and, and cloud native with it being Kubernetes kind of flavored. Um, I guess the feedback would be, uh, let's see what happens with the ego and then we'll deal with this, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fine, we're nearly at time as well. Cool. Looks good. Yeah, all right. So we got through about nine of them. Good, good for first, first meeting of the year. <laughs> we said no cool. to a lot more.